All right, it's now time for another book reading with Mrs. Gonzalez. And today I want to read Mr. Scroop's School. This story is still from our Floppy Phonics book series, written by Roderick Hunt and Alex Brickton. The children were doing a project with Mrs. May about life in Victorian times. Life was hard for lots of children, said Mrs. May. Most children didn't have new shoes or go to school, she said. School was different too, said Mrs. May. The teachers were very strict. Is it true that the teacher could frighten the children with a ruler? asked Biff. Yes, it's true, said Mrs. May. That's not fair. We are going to Duke History Park tomorrow, said Mrs. May. We will see what it was like in Victorian schools. No computers? The next day, they went to Duke History Park. The children put on costumes. They waited outside the school in a queue. This is Mr. Andrew, said Mrs. May. He will act the part of Mr. Scroop. Mr. Scroop will be your teacher for today. Mr. Scroop had a suit and gown on. These are the rules, he said. No excuses. Now we will sing the school song, said Mr. Scroop. What is the tune? asked Beef. Use the music, said Mr. Scroop. Will you show us how? asked Anina. Be quiet! shouted Mr. Scroop. What is eight times three plus two? asked Mr. Scroop. You in blue! I'm confused, said Chip. Use your head! yelled Mr. Scroop. Mr. Scroop is a brute! It was playtime. Mrs. May showed them how to play with hoops. This is fun! Mr. Scroop told them the rules of hopscotch. This is better. Chip threw a ball and it hit a boy called Matthew. Ow! A few of the children ran to help Matthew. The ball flew out of my hand, said Chip. Look, over there, called Whiff, pointing. Don't be so rude, boy, said Mr. Scroop. But look, said Wolf, that goat is chewing your gown. Oh, no! Mr. Scroop ran to rescue his gown. He took the goat back to the field next door. Mr. Scroop wiped his face. Oh, you children are not so useless, he said. Phew, said Wolf. What a day! You did well, said Mr. Scroop. I like your school better, Mrs. May, said Biff. The end.